Matt Forte was one of the best multi-dimensional running backs of his generation, making fantasy football owners, including myself, happy throughout his 10-year career between the Chicago Bears and New York Jets. But who is Matt Forte? In the Who Is series, we go through the backstories of up-and-coming collegiate and pro athletes. In this week's Flashback Friday, we are looking back at the career of Matt Forte, which was requested by Shy Bears Production. There's a player you want to see in future episodes, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. Matt Forte was born on December 10, 1985, and grew up in Slidell, Louisiana. Forte attended Slidell High School, where he would go on to letter in both football and track and field. Forte's High School was one of the first schools to adopt the no-huddle spread offense in his area midway through his freshman year. Before he arrived, Slidell had run a wing tee offense that consisted of them rotating as many as six running backs. Forte's high school coach told NOLA.com, After about four games, we broke ourselves down and said, You know, the best thing we could do is get in shotgun with one back, with Matt, and run that way. We went totally to the spread that year and won the last five of our six games and went to the playoffs. As a sophomore, Forte became the centerpiece of the offense with his high school coaches telling NOLA.com, A lot of people asked how we used him. Well, we used him a lot. As a junior, Forte rushed for 1,057 yards and 8 touchdowns on the ground while catching 30 passes for 365 yards and 3 more scores. Slidell would make it to the state semifinals that season as well. Forte was named an all-district and all-parish player, and going into the senior year, he was named a team captain. As a senior, Forte rushed for 1,375 yards and 23 touchdowns, averaging 6.7 yards per carry. He also caught 18 passes for 253 yards and 2 touchdowns. Forte was named St. Tammy Parish Player of the Year and District 5 5A Offensive MVP while also being named an All-Metro selection. He also finished second team All-State along with All-District and All-Parish honoree once again. Larry Favre, who coached against Forte, talked highly of him, telling NOLA.com, The number one thing I always think about was not only was he unbelievable as a one back in the spread, but then he could catch anything. Here you had this traditional eye back or split back veer tailback running the ball, but now he was going up the field on pass routes. He also returned kicks, he was a dual threat guy back when these spread offenses were just starting, and now you see it everywhere in college and high school. Back in 2016, Forte had his high school jersey retired, surprising him when he was donating $50,000 to the Slidell High School Booster Club. Coming out of high school, Matt Forte was a two-star recruit who was the 33rd best fullback in the country, 89th best player in Louisiana, and 1,835th best player nationally. Forte had only one Division I offer from the school that recommended his high school to switch their offense, Tulane. Through the first half of his freshman year, Forte was a solid second option for the Green Waves, sitting behind Javon Jackson early in the season. Then Jackson would get hurt. As the new starting running back, Forte exploded for 216 yards, which was the fourth most yardage by a Tulane running back in program history, and three touchdowns on 34 carries, while also catching three passes for 67 yards and another touchdown. He followed that performance up, rushing for 97 yards on 28 carries against TCU. He also had four receptions for 38 yards as well. Forte finished his freshman season rushing for 70 yards on 17 carries against Louisville, finishing his freshman season running for 624 yards and 4 touchdowns on 140 carries. He also had 20 receptions for 180 yards and 2 touchdowns through the air. His freshman year performance was good enough to lead to him being named to the Conference USA All-Freshman Team. As a sophomore, Forte played in 11 games and started 6 of them at running back. He opened the season rushing for 66 yards on 20 carries against Mississippi State. Going into the season finale, he had yet to break the 100-yard rushing mark in a game all season with his best rushing performance coming against SMU when he rushed for 87 yards and 2 touchdowns on 20 carries. Forte finished a tough season with his best performance of the year, rushing for 137 yards on 27 carries as Tulane finished the season 2-9. Forte finished the season leading the team in rushing, recording 655 rushing yards and 4 touchdowns on 169 carries, while also having 23 receptions for 163 yards and a touchdown through the air. As a junior, Forte took over the starting running back role, starting all nine games he played in. During the second week of the season, Forte helped Tulane upset Mississippi State, rushing for 170 yards and a touchdown on 29 carries. Forte went off during the month of October, rushing for 178 yards and a touchdown on 19 carries against Rice. Then he rushed for 147 yards and two touchdowns on 17 carries against UTEP. He followed that performance up, rushing for 117 yards on 21 carries against Auburn, while finishing the month rushing for 124 yards and two touchdowns on 24 carries against Army. Over that four-game time span, Forte had 707 all-purpose yards and six touchdowns. 
Against Marshall, Matt Forte rushed for 61 yards and two touchdowns on 19 carries, while also recording five receptions for 80 yards. Unfortunately, Forte would suffer a season-ending injury, cutting his season short. Forte finished the season rushing for 859 yards and eight touchdowns on 163 carries, while having 28 receptions for 360 yards and a touchdown as well. Forte earned second-team All-Louisiana honors and was named third-team All-Conference USA as well. Forte finished the season ranked third in Conference USA in all-purpose yards and fourth in rushing touchdowns. As a senior, Forte would start all 12 of Tulane's games, 11 at running back, and the season opener at quarterback. Forte had an insane season, starting with rushing for 303 yards and five touchdowns against Southeastern Louisiana. A few weeks later, he rushed for 202 yards and two touchdowns on 32 carries against Army. He followed that game up rushing for 209 yards and one touchdown on 32 carries against UAB. The following game, he recorded his career best 342 rushing yards and four touchdowns on 38 carries against SMU. The following week, he rushed for 278 yards and two touchdowns on 44 carries. He finished the month of October rushing for 1,031 yards and nine touchdowns. Throughout the 2000 season, Forte rushed for 100 yards in nine of Tulane's 12 games. He rushed for over 150 yards in seven games and over 200 yards in five games. He finished the season rushing for a total of 2,127 yards and 23 touchdowns on 361 carries while having 32 receptions for 282 yards. Forte finished the season as second team All-American and first team Conference USA, also being named the semifinalist for the Doak Walker Award and Maxwell Award. Forte finished his college career rushing for 4,265 rushing yards and 39 touchdowns while also having 103 receptions for 985 yards and 5 more touchdowns. Forte impressed during the Senior Bowl, leaving Mobile as the MVP of the event as well. The Bears would select Matt Forte in the second round of the 2008 NFL Draft, 44th overall. Forte quickly became the workhorse for the Chicago Bears, rushing for 1,238 yards and 8 touchdowns as a rookie. Throughout his first 8 seasons in the NFL, Forte would rush for over 1,000 yards in 5 seasons. Through 2017, Forte had the most touches and yards from scrimmage compared to any other player in the NFL. He also caught more passes than any player in his draft class during that time span, except for Pierre Garçon. He had more receptions than Jordy Nelson, Deshaun Jackson, and Martellus Bennett, according to Sports Illustrated. In eight seasons with the Bears, Forte rushed for 8,602 yards and 45 touchdowns, while also having 487 receptions for 4,116 yards and 19 touchdowns during the regular season. In 2016, Forte signed with the New York Jets, where he would rush for 813 yards and 7 touchdowns. He also had 30 receptions for 263 yards and one touchdown in 13 games. In 2017, Forte struggled with injuries and was only able to make four starts appearing in 12 games, rushing for 381 yards and two touchdowns while also having 37 receptions for 293 yards and one touchdown. When Forte entered the NFL, his goal was to play 10 years and after his 10th season, it was time to assess his health and legacy. Forte told Sports Illustrated, if you can't move like you need to or used to, you're at a higher risk for injury and people won't remember you the same. They'll remember your last years when he fell off. As a result, Forte decided to retire, finishing his career playing in 146 games, making 137 starts, rushing for 9,796 yards and 54 touchdowns on 2,356 carries. He also caught 554 passes for 4,672 yards and 21 touchdowns, finishing his career with 14,468 all-purpose yards and 75 touchdowns, averaging five yards per touch. Forte would also sign a one-day contract with the Bears to retire with the team he spent most of his career with. As of 2018, Forte is enjoying retirement, spending time with his wife and three kids. He was doing some television work with the hopes of doing some broadcasting work or acting work one day, telling Sports Illustrated, I don't want to pigeonhole myself to just sports. I'm looking into some daytime TV and morning shows, like Michael Strahan does. As of February 2021, Forte runs the What's Your Forte Foundation, together with the Chicago Neighborhood Initiative Finance Group, launching a $3 million business action to help black entrepreneurs and small business owners in the underserved communities of Chicago's South and West Side. Forte told CBS Chicago, I really just want to help out anybody who has a business, or wants to be an entrepreneur, or is an entrepreneur that may be struggling. In my opinion, Matt Forte had a fantastic career in the NFL, proving his two-star recruiting rating wrong. What do you think? Was Matt Forte one of the best running backs from his generation? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos in the Who Is series. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 5k subscribers by the end of June. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.